Einen wunderschönen guten Abend zusammen. Na? Man sieht das Spiel noch nicht. Wie war euer Tag? Warte mal, Killer Frequency kann ich glaube ich wegnehmen. Das brauche ich jetzt nicht zu so schnell wieder. So. Warm. Oh ja. Hi Nuki. Na? <lacht> so. Da machen wir das so. Kleinen Moment, ich bin gleich soweit. Geben Sie mir noch eine Minute. Äh. Achso, das habe ich jetzt zugemacht. Irgendwie, die eine Stunde, die ich jetzt daheim war, ist jetzt viel zu schnell vergangen. Äh. Muss ich gerade daneben noch kurz gucken. Zufügen. Und ja, ich würde sagen, wir reden gar nicht lange rum. Wir machen weiter. An Tag 3. Es bleibt nichts anderes übrig, als für Pan zum Schreien zu gehen. Dann tun wir das mal. Hoch. Ich habe that shipping container, I was expecting. I don't know. Rats. Uh, yeah. Instead we have... <sighs> Where the hell are we? It's hard to say. Weren't we going to some kind of library? Mm. Maybe I shouldn't have brought you here. <laughs> I live for danger. This isn't D&D, &D, Freddy. Some of these idols... They mean business. Uh, do not start this in D&D. There is literally no better preparation for facing a world of gods and magic. Plus, my initiative is ace. <laughs> you are such a nerd. <laughs> Speaking of, how much do you actually know about Hecate and this idol you're supposed to help? Wegen diesem Idol, dem wir helfen, erzählen wir von Hecate. Das ist jetzt unwichtig. The idol we're here to help is named Asterion. And you know who that is, right? No. Should I? <laughs> That's the Minotaur's real ah, name. Cool. You know, big bullhead, horns, lives in a giant labyrinth. <sighs> Pan did not mention that. Natürlich. Why am I not surprised? Is the Minotaur gefährlich? Okay. <laughs> it's not a name that rings bells. Mm, let's see. Well, she was the goddess of witchcraft, the really duck kind. Oh. But she's never really portrayed as evil. She was more of an outsider. Lived alone, off in her little corner of the underworld. <gasps> Do you think that's where we could be? Oh, that is so cool. Oh, I bet knowledge is important to her. It could be an angle if you talk to her. 
I'm so glad I brought you, Freddy. I wouldn't know the first thing about any of this. Nah. Well, I hope it's actually helpful to tell you these things. Why wouldn't it be? Because well, it could all be wrong. I would have never pegged Apollo for a surfer dude with confidence issues. Huh. Yeah, good point. Hmm. Yeah, then give it in. We should go inside instead of standing out here in the fog. Eh, it's more of a mist, really. A mist potentially full of monsters. In we go, then. Are you really planning on doing that favor for Pam? If I can, sure. Why not? Because Pan, that's why not? I <laughs> thought you were over that. Okay, okay. I hope you're right. Let's go meddle in someone's love life. What could go wrong? Can it shift can Nini? Oh. Cross. Hilfe? I guess the Titan thing is literal, huh? Mortals within the reliquary. Who permits this intrusion, this sacrilege? This knowledge is not meant for the likes of you. I shall grind you into the dust from whence you came. But I'm not mortal. Wow, does that sound weird coming out of my mouth. You, perhaps, but the one with you? Mortals cannot learn of the knowledge kept here. Not ever! Uh. Mm, this was not or keine Ausnahmen. She will in beiden Fallen meckern. Ich würde aber tatsächlich fast zu keiner Ausnahmen tendieren. Links, echt? I didn't know. I'm sorry. Pan didn't tell me there were any special rules. You were sent by Pan. Who boy? Oh. Look, if you need me to go, I can go. The last thing that I want to do is break any rules, especially in a library, because libraries are sacred. Okay, just seeing this place. I mean, wow, it's really incredible. Hat das recht, okay, gut gemacht. I have created this sanctuary at great cost. Knowledge is fragile and must be respected. Mhm. Mm das ist ein sehr gutes Ding und so hat sie sich sie sehr gut beruhigt. Lass uns nochmal von vorn beginnen. Maybe we should start over. My name's Grace. It's a pleasure to meet you. No, you cannot be Grace. Uh, sure am. Then Calliope is dead. Is that now? I thought that was not for another eleven months yet. Wait, what? You knew Calliope was going to die? No, I am not informed of this for another 11 months and three days. Or I could just tell you now? That cannot be. It is written. <laughs> what willst du von mir? Uh, yes, it's right here. Calliope joins Grace's band. They become friends. Months later, there is an automobile accident and an accident well, that's not what happened are you saying the books are wrong they're wrong about this calliope was murdered just a few days ago that is impossible i don't know what to tell you you will explain we will both sit and you will explain there will be tea <coughs> Curious. It is clear something unanticipated has occurred, something outside the realm of fate. Uh, is that even possible? It is, but I must follow the threads back to their source to find the origin of the deviation. It may take years of research. Years? I don't have years! That is unfortunate. If there is nothing else, I must ask you both to leave so I may begin at once. Is there no way to speed that up? Whoever's behind it might be the murderer. Such threads are not so easily untangled. I must consult the Moirai, if indeed they are not the ones responsible. 
The, the Moy what? You might know them as the Fates. They, or any beings of a sufficiently cosmic nature, have the power to undo the order of things. That does not sound good. Certainly not. They are also not beings I can summon at a whim to solve your mystery. I am sorry. Nur wegen deiner Hilfe gekommen, kann ich Asterion treffen. Meine Blicke wandern gegen den Chat. <lacht> ich würde fast auf Hilfe tendieren. Ich würde fast auf Hilfe tentieren, in der Hoffnung, dass ich dann das Narren auch irgendwie unterbringen könnte. Is there some way you can help me that doesn't take years? Like a spell or something? You know not of what you speak. The most powerful magics are long beyond my grasp. What about the relics? Maybe one of them could... No. You do not have permission from Athena for such access. But your timeline is all messed up. How do you know this is... My agreement with Athena is clear. Now is the time when you leave. Ja. Doof. Are you sure about that? Because I'm not going. Tagebuch Eintrag aktualisiert. It is I'm guessing she doesn't talk to people much. Hier steht gar nichts geschrieben. Ich schreibe mir eine Geschichte selbst. Äh, was haben wir denn jetzt? Oh Gott, wir haben das glaube ich lange nicht mal durchgeguckt. Mm. Gucken wir mal kurz durch. Natürlich wartete Freddy auf mich, als ich von der Unterwelt zurückkam. Sie entschuldigt, das, äh, das habe ich noch nicht. Geht es? Das mache ich jetzt erst. Dass die vorher schon geschrieben werden, ist furchtbar. Du hast nichts mehr. Das ist nichts mehr. Ich habe Eros später auf Aphrodites Party angetroffen und seine düstere Stimmung ergab plötzlich einen Sinn. Für Aphrodite scheint er eine Art ständiger Aufpasser zu sein. Er hat dabei zugesehen, wie sie ihre Partys veranstaltet, um immer und immer wieder zu sterben und ich denke, er kann das nicht mehr länger mit ansehen. Aphrodites Schmerz ist ihm unerträglich, aber ich glaube, er weiß nicht, was er dagegen tun soll. Er hofft, dass ich sie davon überzeugen kann, damit aufzuhören. Aber das dürfte extrem schwer sein. Außerdem bin ich mir nicht sicher, dass es ihr dann tatsächlich besser gehen würde. Apollo sagte, dass er glaubt, Eros sei die ganze Zeit bei Aphrodite geblieben, weil er das Gefühl habe, ihr etwas, schuldig zu, ihr etwas zu schulden. Eros war früher einmal, in den Worten Apollos, die ewige Katastrophe und sie war die Pflegerin, also muss er sich jetzt revanchieren, egal wie sehr es seine Seele verletzt. Ich denke, Apollo hat wahrscheinlich recht. Am Ende habe ich getan, was Eros von mir verlangt hat. Ich habe Aphrodite davon überzeugt, durchzuhalten und weiter zu kämpfen. Du hättest ihn sehen sollen, als sie sagte, sie würde es versuchen. Ich dachte, er würde auf der Stelle in Tränen ausbrechen. Ich hoffe, ich habe das Richtige getan. Ich habe die Person getroffen, die die neue Aphrodite werden soll. Ihr Name ist Venus und sie scheint wirklich süß zu sein. Aphrodite hat sie monatelang vorbereitet, wie schön. Und sie scheint zu wissen, worauf sie sich einlässt. Aber ist das wirklich das Richtige? Am Ende habe ich Aphrodite dazu inspiriert, es weiter zu versuchen, um Leben zu bleiben. Ich weiß noch immer nicht, wie das gelingen soll, aber ich hoffe, es war das Richtige. Auch hoffe ich, dass Venus mir verzeihen wird, dass ich ihr diese Chance genommen habe, falls sie es als Chance gesehen hat. Ich fühle, ich fühle, dass es für sie in Ordnung ist und sie bereit dazu ist, aber tritt auf ihren weiteren Weg zu helfen. Und mit uns haben wir noch gar nicht gesehen. Guck mal an. Wirklich sehr interessant. Als Aphrodites Party vorbei war, habe ich mit Ehe und Eros gesprochen und wer wurde als Verdächtig ins Spiel gebracht? Medusa, das Monster mit den Schlangenhaaren, das Menschen in Stein verwandeln kann. Von ihr hat auch ich schon gehört. Offenbar ist Medusa am Leben und es geht ihr gut. Und sie arbeitet als eine Art Wächterin für Affin. Ob sie eine Art Bodyguard ist? Oder eine Spionin? Aphrodite meint, dass sie ist sei wirklich verdächtig und dass ich sie unter die Lupe nehmen solle. Vorausgesetzt, ich kann sie finden. Hekati. Pan sagt, dass Hekati, die Göttin der schwarzen Magie, mir bei meiner Suche behilflich sein könnte. Und er lag falsch. Sehr falsch. 
Was soll man von einer riesenhaften Bibliothekarin erwarten, die Göttin und Hexe zugleich ist und sich der absoluten Geheimhaltung gegenüber allem, was ihr ausdimensionales Gefängnisfestungshexentum Dings da betrifft, verschrieben hat? Was? Das klingt seltsam? Kein Wunder, das ist doch seltsam. Wobei sie nicht nur schrullig, sondern auch aufrichtig und irgendwie cool ist. Zwar kennt sie die Zukunft, würde diese aber nie wie zuwider handeln. Diesen Teil werde ich nicht ganz verstehen. Weil sie ihren Eid gegenüber Affin niemals gebrochen hätte, mussten wir es mit Asterions verrückten Plan versuchen und mit einem Lied ihr Herz erobern. Well, I don't think we're getting back inside. Do you have another plan? Mm, yeah. I don't know if my Finde powers will idea. even work on Hecate, but it's worth a shot. Ooh, a musical number. Yeah. Do you think this one could be... Uh, do you hear what I'm hearing? Uh, Minotaurus. Oh, 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 you still here? That's run the entire... Oh, that's a long way, in it? Ist das Minotaurus oder das Schöne und das Biest? Did, did Pan send you? Please, please tell me Pan sent you. I need your help so, so bad. Yes, Pan did send me. Technically. Ich habe auch mit einem Monster gerechnet. Wenn du mir hilfst, ich promise, ich kann dir helfen. Ich really kann es wirklich. Es muss dich sein. Ich bin so in love mit meiner süßen Kate. Ich weiß just don't know how to tell her. Please help me tell her. Are you really the Minotaur? Like the monster who roamed a maze and ate people and is supposed to be dead? Uh, well, my father locked me up in a labyrinth, but I never ate anyone. Oh, well, that's good. Except Theseus. But he, he was a bellend. Do you really call Hecate Kate? Off topic, I know, but I, I have to ask. Well, sometimes she has to go into the mortal world for a short time and do things for Athena. Uh-huh. And... That has well, Katie. she had to make up a magic disguise, you know, a new identity. And I, uh, I thought she should give it a proper name. And you suggested Kate? Yeah, she really liked it. She said, thank you, Asterion. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, is this so offensichtlich? Okay, so you're in love with Hecate. <sighs> what is it you think I can do? A muse knows about poetry and, and the heart and, and how to make words beautiful. All I want is to ask her, but I need good words. Du ask keine Worte. Please, please say you'll help me. Uh. Hecate might say no. You know that, right? She probably will. I mean, she's Kate. And I'm me. But just once. I'd like to be able to ask her, you know, to say it out loud instead of thinking it. I'll still help you, no matter what she says. That's is nit. I promise. I don't know. Doesn't this feel a little weird? Which part? Helping him woo her with my powers. You heard what Pan said. You can't make anyone do anything they don't want to do. You can only make them say what's in their heart. Yeah, that's the part I can't do. Ich will nicht fragen, was im Ging. Oh. I do this and you'll help me in return, right? Athena made Kate swear. She's not allowed to say anything about what happens at the tower. But she never made me swear. Maybe she never thought anyone would ask. But I'll tell you. Even if Kate doesn't like it, I'll tell you. If I do this first. If you help me. Any trouble will be worth it. Was fällt dir ein? Soll ich das jetzt? Also ich, ich will ihm schon helfen, aber ich mich fühlt halt die Idee auch interessieren. Sollen wir es ausprobieren oder sollen wir es einfach fix machen? Ausprobieren? Ah, 
Okay. I have an idea. Y you do? <clears throat> well, y you do? You, my bullish friend, are gonna sing your little heart out. <laughs> Grace always That's what I need. Did have it? Oh, I'll set up a vibe and you go. Time for it. to music. I'm not great at words. I'm, I'm more of a dancer. Just speak from the heart. Be honest. You can do it. You cast a spell on me. Not literally, obviously. But I feel in summary, you and me are meant to be. Cause you put a hex on me. You didn't do it to me directly. I'm, I'm not blaming you specifically. Just that metaphorically, shit, can someone help me? It's okay. Okay, what are some of the things you love about her? Hecate, with you there's so much to love. Oh, I'm not saying you're fat. Did not just say that. Shit. Tell her something she doesn't know about herself. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, T. To me, you know you in rapture. Oh, good work. Is your pallid skin? Your lips are so thin. Your love of books. Asterion, I have but one thought. Why is it that you seem so distraught? Are you saying you're? You couldn't possibly. Really? Oh, you're doing great. Give it another go. You've cast a spell on me. It's a feeling that's killing me. But let's say categorically. Oh, Katie, it's just you and me. Was zu früh? Cannot hide from my reality. Can't help but think it's best that you forget so me. I feel so little joy. My want is to destroy. You will come to resent me. I'm truly fond of you. Yet now. It appears that you love me. How can you be so sure? What is my allure? Tears are near certain. I could never make you cry. It's not my tears I fear. What if I lose you? Couldn't. Oh, I feel so powerless. Let me be crystal clear. Do you believe? This love of yours shall persevere Despite all and won't face it won't disappear My virtues are few And if we see this through The pain that we share may be too severe Oh, of course she sings my song better than I do Help me! Stand back, there's nothing to see Everyone move along it's a crash of song. Make no apology. Stop. Das habe ich jetzt nicht ausgewählt. Wo ist das? I'm not great at words. I'm more of a dancer. Just speak from the heart. Be honest. You can do it. You cast a spell on me. Ich mag diese rauchige Stimme. Literally, obviously. But I feel in summary, you and me are meant to be. Cause you put a hex on me. You didn't do it to me directly. 
I'm not, I'm not blaming you specifically, just that metaphorically, shit, can someone help me? It's okay. Okay, what are some of the things you love about her? Hecate, with you there's so much to love. Oh, I'm not saying you're fat. Did not just say that. Shit. Okay, hold on. Uh, tell her something she doesn't know about herself. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, T. To me, you know you. In rapture? Oh, good word. Is your pallid skin? Your lips are so thin. Your love of books. A starian. I have but one thought. Why is it that you seem so distraught? Are you saying you're in love with me? You couldn't possibly. Really? Oh, you're doing great. Give it another go. You've cast a spell on me. It's a feeling that's killing me. But let's say categorically. Oh, Katie, it's just you and me. I cannot hide from my reality. Can't help but think it's best that you forget me. I feel so little joy. My want is to destroy. You will come to resent me. I'm truly fond of you. Yet now it appears that you love me. How can you be so sure? What is my allure? Tears are near certain. I could never make you cry. It's not my tears I fear. What if I lose you? Couldn't. Oh, I feel so powerless. Let me be crystal clear. Do you believe this love of yours? Oh, thank you, Nuki, for the 100 percent. The first try change. All in one face cool. it won't disappear. My virtues are few. And if we see this through, the pain that we share. So, what machen wir? Eingreifen. Sollen wir Freddy Bescheid geben, dass es hilft, dass äh, sie ihm hilft, oder sagen, so schlimm ist es nicht? Ich tendiere entweder zu rot, also eingreifen, oder zu blau, so schlimm ist es nicht. Vorhin wollte ich ja so schlimm ist es nicht aus antippen, aber so im, im zweiten Gedanken jetzt da. Du wärst bei grün. Okay, dann, dann ich mach das, was ich vorhin machen wollte, einfach. Okay, das ist wirklich das. See, she hasn't disappeared. She is standing right here. I know when I stand next to you, I don't feel like such a freak. I know you feel that way too. You're not like other gods. My love, what are the odds that we're here? Us outsiders should cheer that we found each other. Why didn't you open with that? Oh, was that good? I have always counted on you to speak to me honestly. You're at my beck and call. I've never thanked you at all. And yet you still love me. I let travelers know which way to go, but it bothers me. My own path I forego always seemed apropos. Yet where has this led me? Maybe one step across the line will weave its own spell in given time. The thought with which I must contend is can I love my best friend? Yes! yes. Just decide. 
Komm schon. Wie, du sagst jetzt nein, du blöde Kuh. Komm schon. Asterian. Hate? It seems you've cast a spell on me. You will not regret this. Not yet. It is written. You've cast a spell on me. To think I shall have my own story. You cast a spell on me. And we shall write it together. You've cast a spell on me. A tale of romance and glory. You cast a spell on me. But do we have enough leather? You've cast a spell on me. Diverting. You felt this way the entire time, Asterion, and you said nothing? I didn't think I was worthy. I mean, look at me. I'm only, you know, half a man. You have been a devoted friend over the long and lonely years, Asterion. I only wish I had realized sooner we could have been more. As for you, Grace, I thank you for arranging this diversion, however it came to pass. I, I don't get it. Didn't you know this would happen? Wasn't it written? Of course it was. It was also written that I would be unaware of Asterion's feelings until he spoke them to me. But you knew that. I follow the rules. <laughs> it is written. <laughs> das ist ein bisschen per pen and paper. Du weißt, dass es nicht gut ist, aber du kennst das. Du, also, du weißt als Spieler, du weißt, dass das nicht gut ist, aber dein Charakter soll es trotzdem machen. Also, es ist, <lacht> sie ist einfach eine großartige Spielerin. <lacht> I'm glad to see someone happy, finally. That would be me. I am also not displeased by this course of events. Wow, look at you. Living the wildlife. Come, Asterion. I wish to speak of this further. And find an appropriate outfit. Ahem. <clears throat> you hey, wait for me outside, okay, yeah? Thank you. Es hat mich ein bisschen an gestern erinnert, drum <lacht> passt das so gut dafür gleich. Wie lange sind wir warten? Es ist schon eine Stunde. Ich bin sicher, dass es eine Zeit ist. Ich glaube, der Minotaur würde seine Verhältnisse brechen. Ich glaube, ich will dir sagen. Du bist noch hier. Ich bin sorry. Kate hat viel zu sagen. Everything's okay, I hope. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, it was so wonderful. Kate just wanted to talk about you know, feelings and that, which, uh, well, neither of us are good at. Right, so, uh, I suppose you want to know how Calliope broke into the reliquary that night. She did what? No, uh, we didn't know anything about that. Do you mean the night she died? Oh, well, I, I, I thought you already knew. Uh, yeah. The, the night Calliope died, she, she broke in somehow. Thing is, we know she didn't take anything or even touch anything. I just remember the alarms, and I chased after her. You chased Calliope, but did you ever catch up with her? Uh, no. If I'd have caught her, I'd have brought her back, and Kate would have gotten answers out of her. All I know is, is that she was hurt, bleeding bad, but I don't know why. I wanted to help her, but she got away in the fog. Then I ran into Medusa. Medusa? Medusa? Here? Yeah. Well, she's not normally here. I think maybe she was chasing after Calliope too. How could Calliope have been wounded? I don't know. Maybe Medusa did it. Probably not, though. You know, I never saw Medusa near the reliquary, just out in the fog, so she never even got that close. So whatever happened to Calliope happened inside the reliquary? I guess. But we don't have anything that would attack anyone. Especially not an idol. So someone else. 
But they did it inside the reliquary. If so, they vanished after. How do you know Calliope didn't touch or take anything? Kate knows everything in the reliquary, right down to the last book. She's been looking, but she can't figure if anything was touched. It makes her so mad not to know. And it made Athena pretty mad too. Athena got involved? Yeah, when Kate finally told her. Athena wants Kate to keep investigating, but it doesn't look good. Athena knows what happened here the night Calliope died? Yeah, Kate told her a day or so later, I think. We didn't know Calliope died that night, though. What? Athena didn't mention it? Nope. Not that that's weird. She's, uh, well, she's not the chatty type, you know? She came in all quiet and cool, wanted to know who was here that night and what Calliope might have wanted. She swore Kate to silence. Not me, though. Guess she's not as smart as Kate. Did you say the reliquary has alarms? Like, burglar alarms, cameras? Oh, no, 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 nothing like that. It just has a lot of protections. You know, magic. I don't know magic, actually. Oh, uh, well, it's just meant to keep the dangerous stuff from being touched. It was set off, so something happened in the reliquary. We just, uh, don't know what exactly. Those alarms don't go off if someone breaks into the reliquary? They don't <laughs> detect intruders? Well, uh, normally nobody does that. Well, Calliope did. She got in somehow. Well, she must have snuck in the back way. Where do you think I keep running from? Whatever Calliope did here, it was enough to set off the alarms. That's all I know. What relics are there? Maybe Calliope was looking for one, but couldn't find it before... Yeah, that I'm not supposed to say. Do you have the Golden Fleece, the Shield of Zeus, the Sword of Damocles? Is it suspended? Uh, you know a lot about that stuff for a mortal. So it's all real? <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny any of that. All I know is that nothing got used and nothing got taken. As a yeah. What was Medusa doing here? She was chasing after Calliope too, I think, but she wouldn't say why. I asked. Seems pretty convenient. Her just out there suddenly? Yeah, that part's weird. I've never seen her near the reliquary before. Couldn't Medusa have broken in like Calliope did? Yeah, but I chased Calliope from the reliquary. If Medusa had been there, I would have seen her. This means Calliope came here the night she died. This is where she was attacked. But we don't know by whom. Well, this is the second time Medusa's name has come up. That can't be a coincidence. Well, she's super scary, but uh, you know she works for Athena, right? I thought maybe that's why she was here, but Athena said she didn't know about it. That does seem suspicious. If that's all you need, then I have to go. Kate will be so mad if she finds me gone. Good luck, Muse. You okay there, friendo? I'm okay. We learned a lot. I just... I just wish I knew why Calliope was here in the first place. Maybe that's a question for Medusa. Sure. If only I knew where to find her. One thing at a time, Grace. You'll figure it out. I know you will. I guess so. Next thing is to go back to Pan. Tell him his favor is done. <sighs> what an adventure. Sorry? You're just lucky, Grace. Luckier than you think. You go do what you have to, and I'll meet you back at the apartment. Okay? Pan! I hope you're here, because I don't know where else to look for you. Of course I'm here, Grace. Where else would I be but amongst the trees and the wild things? I really must thank you, by the by. Asterion is simply over the moon. And he's already repaid me with this select tome from the reliquary. So you used me? All part of your trading favors thing? Of course! I used you, I used Asterion, you used Asterion, Asterion used you. Is this not the way the world works? 
folks. Why not just tell me what you were after? And risk nosy Hecate somehow digging it out of you. Perish the thought. I trust you got what you needed. More grist for the mill of your innocence, as it were. It's quite the coincidence. The place you sent me just happens to be the place Calliope was attacked. That is quite the coincidence. Mm -hmm. You must be very grateful. Uh, it's just hard to trust a coincidence that big. You have no reason to be suspicious. I know nothing of what happened to Calliope at the Reliquary. I suppose the question at the heart of this is, do you believe me? <laughs> You're enjoying this, aren't you? This tit-for-tat, back and forth? I'll enjoy it if you're enjoying it. Well, I'm not not enjoying it. <laughs> oh my, aren't you a delight. Even if you haven't answered the question, don't think I didn't notice. I've never lied to you, Grace, and I never shall. If you're looking for innocence, however, <laughs> well, I'm afraid that's one thing I cannot provide. What if I discover you're lying to me after all? You'll do what you do, and I'll do what I do, and we'll see where that takes us. I hope it's somewhere good. Somewhere I'm not on trial. Oh. Ich flirte auch mit jedem, aber gefällt mir bitte auch. Es ist halt... Pen hat halt irgendwas... Ich denke, glaube ich, auch darüber einfach zu viel nach, weil das Spiel setzt in Anfang so unter strengen Verdacht und ich bin halt jemand, mit dem ich, ich bin halt jemand, der mit jedem gut stehen möchte, ne? Und wenn du dich mit jedem verstehst, kannst du auch jeden fragen für manche Sachen. Das ist so ein bisschen mein Problem. Oh, my, 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 you do know how to spoil the mood, don't you? If I can make a suggestion, live the high life. Throw caution to the wind. That's your suggestion? And why not, unless you truly prefer Persephone forever running hot and cold. Take my hand, Grace. Take my hand. Why not? See now, this is why I like you. Such a sense of the inappropriate. Oh, music! It is an ugly business living among the gods. You'll always twist an arm, even if you're trying not to. And so I say, let's do it. The world, it needs that guy who is prepared to move the pieces in from every side. All of the world's on the edge of a knife. So I choose partying. There's no need for strife. Und irgendwas sagt mir, er hat gar nicht so ein schlechtes Herz wie die meisten tun. So dance, Gracie, come, won't you dance? Only so much of your life's in your hands. Haven't I helped you? The rest is chance. So come on, let's have this dance. So what the call was close We're both alive and well We'll live to fight another day As far as I can tell And even if you don't And I expect you won't I promise you'll be glad you spent the night with me So Dance little Gracie Come won't you dance Only so much of your life's in your hands Haven't I helped you? The rest is chance. So come on, let's have this dance. I'm such a fool. I believed I meant more to you. Guess all I am is a piece of pawn, and you won't care. Hey. 
make it or leave it I won't repeat it I'm only here for the dance You don't have any hope for me, do you? You're just taking what you can get before it's over. I've seen this story many times, Grace. I've told this story many times. And it always ends the same way. You're hoping to find Medusa, I expect. Changing the subject? <laughs> and how do you even know about that? I'm just trying to be helpful, Grace. In my way. You'll find Medusa at a dingy little club appropriately named the Viper's Nest. <laughs> Give her my regards. But do be careful if you call on her grace. Medusa is a hideous monster and should be treated as such. No harm in checking out all of the uh, options. Quatschen wir mal kurz mit... Wir sind schon Tag 4. Wir quatschen kurz mal mit Peresphone. Kurz mal sie auf den neuesten Stand bringen. <lacht> Back from your visit to the reliquary? How did you know I was there? Athena was ranting about it when I left her. She's none too pleased about you breaking the rules. Let's hope what you learned was worth it. Was heißt Regelbrechen? Medusa was at the reliquary that night. You don't intend to confront her directly, do you? I'm not sure. Isn't she dangerous? Even if she's not actually involved in Calliope's death, yes. Still, uh, while I hate to say it, confronting Medusa may be your best option. You could come with me when I talk to her. <laughs> Trust me, if I'm anywhere within a mile, she'll have vanished by the time you so much as knock on her door. Just lie to me and say you'll be careful. On a different matter, I've had time to do some thinking. I may have been too dismissive after Aphrodite's party. You no doubt have many questions about the Eidolon and Calliope's memories. Apollo told me a little about it. He did say I should talk to you, though. Did he now? Is there anything you'd like to ask? Wenn ich mich anders fühlen, werde ich mich anders fühlen, wenn ich mich verändere. Wie oft bist du gestorben? Nein, schon in Ordnung. When all these memories start to return, will I feel different? First, you'll have dreams, places you've never been, people you've never met. But unlike with normal dreams, these will linger. Then they will come while you're awake. Sudden flashes or, or snippets of deja vu. And sometimes it will seem so real you'll swear you're hallucinating. If there's anything difficult about the process is that it becomes hard to differentiate between your life and all these other lives you're now recalling. That does sound confusing. Confusing and often unpleasant. As not all the memories will be fond ones. But that will pass in time. You said it becomes hard to differentiate your life from the others. How hard, exactly? It'll still be me, right? Oh, how do I explain this? Grace, would you say that you are who you are because of your experiences? The things you've lived and done? I guess so, sure. Well, all the things Calliope has done, and those before her, will now be yours. They will feel like a part of your life as well. Thus, they can't help but shape you. The grace that is now will be and will have done so much more. Fortunately, you don't have to deal with every memory. Each time the Eidolon passes on, the oldest memories fade. And that helps. Wait, how is it good that old memories start to fade? Think of how old we are, Grace. If all those memories returned to you with perfect clarity, they would destroy you. Yeah, but doesn't that mean you've all forgotten so much? far more than we remember. The further I think back, the more it becomes a bit of a blur, actually. You'll recall important moments. Some will be mixed up with the stories mortals tell, and you won't be sure which is the memory and which is the story. 
An idol's memory is a series of islands in a dark ocean, and they become smaller and smaller as they recede into the horizon. It sounds dire, but you become accustomed to it. It just takes time, and now you have all the time in the world. Miss, wo habe ich Zeit? How many times have you died? Can I ask that? We call it passing on. I've lost track of just how many times I've passed on my idol on. A dozen? It's happened less often in more recent eras. And the one you told me about, the woman married to that gangster? She was the most recent? I don't think of chastity as a she. That was me, just as the one my husband blasted with a shotgun was also me. It was one of the few times I wasn't able to prepare my successor. We were friends, yes, but I didn't know what Persephone was, and I had no idea what I'd just become. That must have been difficult. It was more difficult taking over my dead husband's territory. Women weren't often mobsters in those days. That's a lot to consider. Assuming I'll even have time to worry about it, what with the trial coming. Either the trial will end poorly, in which case all of this is moot, or it will end well. And you will have plenty of time to digest. Yeah, thanks for the update. I'm a realist, Grace. It's what I'm best at. Now then, unless you've something else to ask. Are you willing to talk about Hades? If you don't want to, that's fine. I'm just... Incredibly curious how I ended up murdering my husband. <sighs> that, yeah. No one might think that my hatred of Hades began when he kidnapped me and forced me to be his bride. Hmm? But honestly, that wasn't it. I hated my brothers and sisters for letting it happen, but Hades himself terrified me. He had a presence, and one that forever made him the most important man in the room. And me? Oh, I was nothing in comparison. When Hades began doting on me, trying to earn my favor, I swooned that he might deign to think of me that way. For centuries, I actually thought I was in love. That the kidnapping was the best thing that ever happened to me. It's funny how our perspectives change. Das hat sich zwischen Tier und Hades geändert. Jetzt sind wir über Calliope, jetzt sind wir von den Idolen. If you got along with Hades for so long, what changed? I did. I grew up. I was a trophy for Hades. A conquest that he expected to remain meek and unchanging forever. He went out of his way to keep me small. I slowly realized that, you know, he'd always been that way manipulation and arrogance behind the handsome sneer. We battled for centuries. I hated him, and I told him so, but he refused to part with me. He declared that I was his and would stay in the underworld where I belonged. And that's when you killed him? That's when I killed him, yes. The first time one idol had ever murdered another. Thank you very much. Hey Daniel, thank you for the points. Ah, we know a bit about Calliope. Tell me more about Calliope. You and her were good friends, right? We were. And. And if you had told me a decade ago that I would become close to one of the muses, I would have laughed in your face. I always considered them Apollo's creatures. Calliope, Cleo, and Talia. Vapid, frivolous gods who handed off their idol on to any artist who took their fancy. Every time I met one of them, they were someone else. Apollo called them the sisters of beauty, no matter their gender. Can you imagine that? That's such a stupid name. I never thought of that. Do idols change gender a lot? And we tend to seek out successors like ourselves, but it happens. With the muses, it happened frequently. 
Everywhere Apollo went, they surrounded him like a gaggle of ducklings, just like him to gather his own fans. If you disliked the muses so much, how did you end up becoming friends with Calliope? She sought me out. She'd become more and more unhappy on Olympus, so she decided to leave just as I had long before. Calliope asked for my help, and I laughed in her face. Go ask one of your sycophant mortals, I told her. I mean, surely one of them has some threadbare couch you can sleep on. Wow. Typically, she was undeterred. She didn't just want a place to stay, she said. She wanted to learn how to be truly independent from an idol who had mastered it. Hmm? What can I say? I mean, I am a sucker for a well-timed compliment. I took her in. Apollo was furious. He and Calliope were barely speaking, but he was certain she'd come crawling back to Olympus. Oh, I made taking her in all the sweeter. After you took Calliope in, that's when you became friends? Well, no, not right away. I wasn't looking for a friend. Ooh. What I was looking for was an opening act in the club. Calliope entertained here for years and then eventually turned from performing to attracting new acts. She was in her element. <sighs> she and I, uh, well, we warmed up to each other eventually. She was more capable than I expected, and I adored her furious rants. <laughs> Calliope didn't seem like the furious type when I met her. That's hard to picture. Oh, then you didn't really meet her. She was an idealist, and nobody <sighs> could ever quite live up to her standards for very long. Her brothers and sisters, least of all. The idols needed to change, she said. They were withering away in the shadows, diminished and, and unwilling to save their own skins. When I joined the chorus, she expected me to change everything, as if I could single-handedly override Athena. I was to be her champion, and together we would bring revolution to the idols. Well, I was yet another disappointment. She left the club, but I gave her a place to live. We were supposed to stay in touch, let me know how it went from there. What happened to the other muses? You mentioned two others. Were they lost in the war? One of them was, though not like you think. The day we were to leave on the ship, Talia simply never showed up. Do you know what happened to her? We never heard from her again. Apollo thrashed about in mourning, but Talia had been fading away for years. It wasn't a surprise to the rest of us. What about the other muse? Cleo? Died long before. A victim at the hands of a mortal man. When she no longer possessed the power to bedazzle him. As I understand it, he kept her in a cage as a pet until her Eidolon shriveled up and perished. And it was dead before she was. Ugh, that's pretty dark. Yes, well, we come by our wariness of mortals honestly, Grace. I'd like to know a little more about the idols. I am one now, right? <sighs> what constitutes a little more in this instance? Well, what are we? Where did we come from? If an idol is a soul that moves from person to person, it must have started somewhere, right? Ah, the big question. To which the answer is, nobody knows. I remember the original Persephone only vaguely. Indeed, I'm not even certain she was the original. Was there something before her? How did she get her idol on? I couldn't tell you. Evidently, we wrote little down in those early days, or were forbidden to. And our memories only stretch back so far. Anything beyond that simply isn't. Isn't it strange to not know where you come from? For all you know, the idols could be aliens. Aliens? Grace, you watch too many movies. <laughs> Gods are okay, but aliens are just wacky fiction. Fine, yes. 
It is strange. Our earliest days aren't the only blanks in our memories, however. We have many. And the last was the day Zeus called us all together to tell us Rome had fallen and we should prepare for war. But did that war occur? Hmm. I couldn't tell you. The last thing I remember after Rome was a thousand years later, in the 16th century. I was in a different body, feeling as if no time at all had passed. Athena calls that period the gap. That's what it feels like. All of us experienced it, and not one of us knows why or how. The gap you mentioned. What was that like? Did you just wake up one day, or...? I wasn't asleep. I lived. I had lives. I, I passed on my Eidolon. I may have known who I was and what I was, but perhaps I was completely unaware. All I know is that one day, Athena came to my nunnery. Yes, I think. The moment that I saw her, all the old memories came flooding back. My life during the gap was wiped away in an instant and it never returned. If someone did that to us, we were powerful indeed. What about Athena? I mean, she's the one who found you, right? She must have been aware. Athena woke up on her own, so she claims, and spent the next century rounding up those idols who remained. Zeus, however, was gone. What became of him, what happened in Rome, we've never pieced it together. It's troubling. That's all I can think of for now. I'll see you around? Oh, yes. That's where I'll be. Around. Okay. Mitusa. This must be the Viper's Nest. Scariest part of town, no sign. Just that one dude glaring at everyone. Well. I'm here now. Just another day in the life of an idol. Oh, there you are. Man, this place is the worst. I think someone peed on me. Freddy? What are you doing here? <laughs> what, you thought I wouldn't notice you skulking off? You didn't even bring any equipment, Grace. Freddy, I left you behind for a reason. Don't you realize how dangerous this could be? Do you not realize how dangerous this could be? Yeah, but I'm an idol. You're... Nee, this man nicht. If there is a just about to come out of your mouth, Grace, so help me, I will slap it back in. Look, you're gonna need some backup in there, okay? Do you even know anything? Das Problem ist, ähm... Medusa könnte ja wirklich ein richtiges Problem sein für Freddy. Und ich vermute mal, dass nur die Sterblichen zu Stein werden, aber Freddy ist eine Sterbliche. Think about Medusa? Do you think she actually turns people to stone? Well, let's hope not, or this could be a short visit. Or a really, really long one. I'm serious! Perseus used a mirror to reflect Medusa's gaze back at her. Well, maybe you could use your phone. <sighs> you think that would work? Unless you brought a mirror, Grace, it's all you got. Okay, I'll bite. What do you know about Medusa? Uh... Well, you know, she was human once, right? And she was cursed. Apollo mentioned it, yeah. Cursed by Athena. Or so one of the stories goes, anyway. But doesn't she work for Athena? Hey, don't look at me. My knowledge of this stuff stops at a few thousand years ago. She was once human, but she's definitely a monster, right? <laughs> yeah, one of the worst. But, you know, so was the Minotaur. Asterion said she was scary. I have a feeling she's not like him. Mm. Then I guess you need to be prepared for the possibility that she is as bad as the legends say. Though some of the stories also say that she was wronged by Athena and that what was done to her was an injustice. And Athena just follows the rules, right? Okay, enough talking. Time to do this. Uh, you have a plan for how we're getting inside, I hope? Maybe. You're here to help? <laughs> Always. Then I have a plan. Hmm. 
Ablenkung, anderer Eingang oder Vollstrecke konfrontieren, was machen wir? Das gebe ich den Shit wieder offen. Mal gucken. Ablenkung, gut. Dann machen wir Ablenkung. Andere Eingang von oben. Ja, andere Eingang wäre dann meine zweite Wahl, aber Vollstrecke würde ich nicht konfrontieren. Gucken wir mal. Hi, uh, this is where the comic convention is, right? I hope I'm not too late for the signing. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm afraid you had the wrong address. What? No. Oh God, no. No, that can't be right. Do you understand the indignities that I have endured? The weird looks, the body odors? Someone spilled coffee all over my cosplay outfit. I, uh... <sighs> No, no, do not tell me that I'm I got it wrong. I spent $50 I on this ticket. I demand my personal photo. Das ging einfacher. Wir sind drin. Passt. Und Freddy ist nicht dabei. Das ist vielleicht auch noch ganz praktisch. Nicht mehr Musik. Before you start the show, Pam said to say hello. That's what he said to say. Mm. Well, any friend of Pam's is a friend of Pam's. Um, okay. I hate to interrupt your flow. There's just some things I need to know. I wish there was another. Yes, you do. Now, look into me. Your body goes freely every time on. I see its tenders turning in jelly. I see it. It's meant to work that way. I call it the preparation. Yes, I could make you strong, but then my dinner's blown. That's why I've got this other way. Look into me. Oh, she's looking away. Hey.
Listen, Medusa. She hides you in shame, but she uses you all the same. You could live another way. If I was treated like you, I'd be a monster too. <laughs> That's kind to say, but you could never be. Like me, you didn't kill, kill Calliope. So you know that it's true that I didn't do it. No, yes, you do know. You know, does that mean a thin and no? No, okay, it's dinner time. You're not gonna walk. You think that will hurt me, child? You have not done your homework. Oh, sorry, just trying to get your attention. Yeah, I've been watching, and I'm willing to bet you can't turn me to stone before I burn your snakes off. Hey, stand down, Freddy. Let's give Medusa some space. Yeah, okay. I'm watching her, though. Hmm. You ready to talk? Oh, fine. Fine. What exactly is it that you want, pretty muse? You were at the reliquary the night Calliope was murdered. I want to know why. Blast! This is why I didn't tell Lady Athena. I knew it would come back to haunt me. I only followed pretty Calliope to the reliquary. I never spoke to her, never even caught up to her. I swear it. That's what Asterion told us, more or less. But you were there that night. Yes, yes, I admit it. Ugh, Lady Athena will have my head. She'll mount it on a pike. Whatever you might think of me, I had no part in the Muse's death. I did not even know she'd been attacked until I saw her fleeing. Why should we believe you? You did just try to eat me, remember? Find my by the way ganz äh, super, dass sie das mit den Fragezeichen gelöst haben, weil zum Beispiel ich muss da leider der Tag Pictures als negativ Beispiel nehmen. Da siehst du nicht, bei welcher Option es weitergeht und bei welcher nicht. Und das haben sie hier ganz schön gelöst mit den Fragezeichen. I am telling you the truth. Right, and not at all trying to cover your own ass. You presented an opportunity. Oh. To taste the sweet, sweet blood of a hero once again. Uh, it, it's a problem. I've been working on it, I really have. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, what a pal! The only reason I knew Calliope was going to the reliquary is because he informed me. Yes. So much for never lying to me. What were the odds, honestly? <laughs> Let's uh, put a pin in that for the moment, shall we? I am a monster. It's true. I do not deny it. But still, I did not kill the muse. You followed Calliope to the reliquary. Why were you shadowing her at all? I am Lady Athena's spymaster, yes. Calliope has been trouble from time to time. So you were spying on her? 
I keep watch over every idol who no longer lives in Olympus, but especially Calliope. When I realized she was headed to the reliquary that eve, I followed. I had a duty to Athena. Hey. You haven't told Athena any of this? Do I need to light things up again? Cause I'll do it. I, I told her Calliope was at the reliquary that night. I did not tell her I was also there. Why not? Wouldn't Athena find out from Hecate anyway? Oh, I, I was not thinking clearly. I panicked. I... Lady Athena barely tolerates my presence as it is. If she thought I was involved in any way, if she even suspected. Did you ever find out why Calliope went there? I was never close enough to ask. When I drew near to the reliquary, that is when I saw the muse fleeing. She was frightened. Bloodied. Sighing. Let me guess, that made you hungry. I gave chase, yes, but to discover the truth. I knew Lady Athena would wish to know. That does make sense from your perspective. I didn't learn the truth until later. Even then, it was far too late. Asterion said he caught up with you out in the fog. Is that right? I thought he was the one who had attacked her. He is a great beast of a creature. Ja gut, sie als Monster sagt, dass, dass er eine Kreatur ist, eine monsterhafte Kreatur ist. Aber das passt natürlich nicht, weil sie ja böse ist und dadurch ist die Böse von dem Bösen gleich gut und bla bla bla. He killed Hecate's cat by accident, but this still seems hard to believe. Yes, I had only realized my mistake once I caught up to him, and by then the muse was gone. And you never found her afterwards? I thought she might flee to her pretty home, or to the sharp and prickly Persephone. But she did neither. Yeah, she came to see me. Okay, let's say we believe you, for the moment. Whatever you do, pretty muse, I beg you. Do not tell Athena of my indiscretion. Show mercy. me as well. I cannot help what I am. I did not ask to be cursed like this. Indiscretion, huh? It's quite the word for it. I cannot apologize for my hunger. I can only apologize that I am so very weak in the face of it. I'll think about it. I am a lost and cursed thing. <laughs> no idol. If Lady Athena should learn the truth, well. Also fällt mir Medusa auch schon mal von der Liste der Verdächtigen vorerst weg. Dafür steigt Athena. I hope you find what you seek, pretty muse. And that we meet again someday. Steckt Afina einen Rang zu Verdächtigen auf. Channel your inner Persus and defeat the Gorgon. He knew. Right from the start, Pan knew Calliope was there that night. Yeah, and who could have foreseen that he was lying to you the entire time? Who, I ask you, a mystery even the Oracle couldn't have penetrated. There could be a good explanation. Oh, Grace, just so sweet, so willing to see the best in everyone. Anyhow, you probably have a few questions for Mr. Goatman. I'll see you at home. <laughs> Would you really have tried to burn Medusa's face off with an aerosol can? <laughs> Hell yeah, one hint of googly eyes and psh. <laughs> <laughs> What would I do without you? Huh? You'll never need to answer that question, Grace. Oh, if it isn't, uh, the lovely Grace? You knew. Right from the start, you knew Calliope was there that night. Well, yes. 
She asked for the key and I gave it to her, no questions asked. I told you I didn't know what happened to Calliope and that's the truth. I did not. So I nudged you in the right direction. And lied about why? I omitted things, yes. I, I was rather hoping to avoid suspicion falling my way. <laughs> I've never lied to you, Grace, and I never shall. Medusa learned that Calliope was going to the reliquary because I told her. Now, before you say anything, I had no idea of the fate awaiting our dear muse. And you yourself said Medusa was not responsible. I simply had to know if I, if I'd inadvertently, rather innocently. Sold her out? She came to you for help, and you gave her whereabouts to the highest bidder. I am trying to help Grace. In my way. What do you, what do you mean, in my way? What is, what, what way is that? <sighs> the way where I don't take all the blame. What else will I discover, Pam? I'd rather learn it now than later. I wish I could tell you, Grace. I truly do. Bis erst ist es Zeit, um nach Hause zu gehen, Tag 5. Hm. Oh! Oh! Uh, Hermes! Uh, hi, Grace. I can just call you Grace, right? That's my name. Where's Freddy? She went out to get snacks. We were gonna watch TV while we waited, but, um, well, here you are. Waited. Were you looking for me? All over, yeah. Athena sent me to find you, but it wasn't easy. Yeah, you must have been busy. Yeah, Athena? because I stand trial soon. Right. Right, that makes sense. Anyway, uh, I guess Athena wants to talk? I can zip us over to Olympus anytime, if you're free. So this is what you do? Ferry people around? I'm the god of messengers, baby. Travelers, doorways, any kind of transition, really. The old Hermes said that the transition part made even more sense for me, which, you know, extra cool, right? Yeah, that's true. I can connect any two doorways anywhere, just like that. So it's super easy to take people wherever. I don't mind. You mentioned the old Hermes a lot. You knew him? Yeah, I was homeless for a while. It wasn't a great time, and he took me in. Everyone's on the same journey, he used to say. Only the roads are different. And then he went on his journey. Man, I still miss him every day. Wait, isn't he still inside you? Aren't you kind of the same person now? Mm, not yet. It's only been a year. Maybe I'll feel him again one day. That'd be nice. You say it's easy, but do you like doing all these errands? Huh. Yeah, I never thought about it. It's nice to have a purpose. Athena is super sweet, and she has a big, important job. Why wouldn't I want to help her out? <laughs> you can't be this nice. Are you for real? Oh, well, the old Hermes used to say that a willingness to serve is more important than a willingness to be served. Do I have a choice about seeing Athena? I'm not in the habit of being at anyone's beck and call. I mean, I guess you could say no, but I wouldn't. If Athena wants something, she's gonna get it eventually. She had that look in her eyes, like she really wants to talk to you. She could always come here. Everyone else does. Athena entered the mortal world? <laughs> and now she doesn't do that ever. Can you imagine? How does Athena manage never entering the mortal world? She doesn't have to, I guess. Everyone brings her everything she needs. And that creepy owl of hers? Apollo says it's her eyes out in the world. It's everywhere. Wow. 
watching. So what, she just never leaves the building? Ah, uh, she'll go to the reliquary and places like that. Just never where mortals are. She wears a toga and calls cars iron horses. <laughs> yeah. I suppose there's no point in putting it off. Do your thing. Take me to Olympus. Okay. Oh, uh, when you see Freddy, tell her I'm sorry I couldn't stick around for the movie. And mind if I say something? Sure. You've changed. I mean, from the person I met when I first came here. When, you know. You got it together. Ich weiß, dass das Spiel mich in die Richtung jagen möchte, dass äh, ich Alfin äh, verdächtige, aber irgendwie passt die ganze Geschichte, Geschichte aktuell nicht wirklich zusammen und ich denke, sie hat damit wirklich was damit zu tun. Auch oh, wenn das ein bisschen klischeehaft wäre. Hm. Thanks, I guess. Bombe, Hilfe, boom. Alles so hell. Wähle deine Eigenschaft. Was? Eigenschaftswechsel? Oha. Wir haben relativ viel charmant gemacht, ne? Ne, komm, dann machen wir clever. Ich habe keine Ahnung, ob es zusätzlich ist. Ich kann mir auch gut vorstellen, dass es die, dass es charmant ist jetzt. Wir werden sehen. There you are, Grace. Do have a seat. I prefer to stand, thanks. As you like. You've certainly been busy, haven't you? Everywhere I turn, there you are, including the reliquary. Oh. I'm uncertain how you got access, but. Even you must have realized it's off limits, particularly for your mortal friend. Am I not supposed to be proving my innocence? Would you prefer I did nothing? I'd prefer you didn't break any other rules in the meantime. Such as? Do you have a list I can read, or do you just make them up as you go? Mm. You think our judgment was rash? It was. In truth, I worried that giving you time, letting us all get to know you, would make it harder in the end. I am sorry, Grace. You may not believe it, but I care deeply. I care about what happens to you and to all the idols. Do you really? Yeah, Let's explore seriously. where all that caring has gotten them, shall we? You're holding on with a grip so tight, your knuckles are turning white. But that's not enough, is it? Every idol I've met is either lost or broken, or both. They're all slipping through your fingers. If you actually cared about them, you'd do something about it instead of sitting up here worrying about your precious rules. Zeus was the first to leave, king of the gods, and we don't even know what became of him, vanished into the ether. Poseidon was next, walked out into the seas, never to be heard from again. Ares betrayed us, Hephaestus saved us, Hades was murdered, and by one of our own, the list goes on. I've heard most of that, sure. What does it have to do with me? We are dying, Grace. I don't mean diminishing or drifting apart. I mean our immortality is disappearing. Very soon now, the idols will be no more. We are a legacy that spans millennia. 
dating back to the very dawn of humankind. So yes, I care. I will do anything and everything in my power to avoid that fate, even if it appears unfair. Clever or charmant? Hätte dir helfen können oder das tut mir leid? Oder einen der anderen zwei Optionen. Clever. Ja, hätte ich jetzt auch gemacht. You know, it's too bad. <laughs> I've been an idol for five minutes and I've been out there solving problems you've all wrestled with for how long now? I could... Vielleicht hätte sie Keller P wirklich eine Chance geben können, sollen. Vielleicht hätte sie wirklich was ändern können. I could have helped you, Athena. I could have helped all of you. But you don't see that, do you? You're so busy holding on to what you have. You can't see what you're throwing away. Das ist halt das Problem oft an Älteren bzw. Erfahrenen, dass sie auch viel zu selten auf die Jungen hören, die was eine, einfach eine andere Weltsicht haben und die Welt auch anders aufnehmen. Und mir gerade auffällt, dass der äh, Streamtitel ein O zu viel hat. Lass mich das mal kurz ändern. So. <lacht> I know we've put a great deal on your shoulders, Grace. I do. All I called you here to ask is that you please not make my job more difficult than it already is. If you have any other questions or concerns, now's the time to bring them up. Who has access to the reliquary? Is it anyone with a key, or...? Does it matter? You gained access, so clearly it is not difficult to get. Speaking of which, I don't suppose you'll tell me who gave you that key. The same person gave it to me, who gave it to Calliope. And who gave it to Calliope then? I see. What do you know of Pan? Pan? That's not a name I expected to hear been sniffing around you, has he? I have some suspicions, and I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Pan lurks at the edges because he likes it there, seeking out whatever profit he thinks he can get away with. Yes, we sniff him. Avoid him, dear, or he'll stick to you like gum to the bottom of your shoe. Oops. Okay, so you don't like Pan much. I get that. But do you think he could kill someone? <laughs> We've all killed, my dear. I was once a warrior queen, feared by mortals and gods alike. A another idol, I mean. Is that where your investigation has led you? To Pan? Sort of. But I feel like I'm missing something important. Maybe the goddess of wisdom could help me out? It would be helpful to know what Calliope was doing at the reliquary. But she's not available to ask. Not until you regain her memories, at least. Why not put off the trial until then? Seems like a good way to solve all this. Yeah? <laughs> And trust what you decide to share? I think not. Sollen wir sie konfrontieren? Also über Medusa möchte ich nicht mit dir reden. Ich will... Medusa war... Nett. Ich will Medusa da jetzt nicht reinreiten, aber sollen wir sie konfrontieren? Speaking of the reliquary, you went there, right? Once Hecate told you what happened? Mm. Yeah, I was not impressed by the delay. If you had known about that, the night Calliope died, would it have made a difference? The chances are exceedingly small that you attacked her there, it's true, yet Calliope was weakened, which made her more vulnerable prey for an enterprising mortal. Ich kannte die zwei Minuten für ein wunderschönes Duo. Perhaps not. I cannot afford the risk of uncertainty, Grace. I'm sorry. Ich kannte für sie, ich kannte sie für zwei Minuten, du blöde Kuh. I guess I'll get back to my investigation. I am rooting for you, Grace. If there's another way to resolve this, any way at all, I will take it. 
Will you? Really? Good luck. Feel free to take a cookie on your way out. Was hat er mit diesen doofen Cookies auf sich? Ich werde aus der ganzen Geschichte nicht wirklich schlauer. Don't take it personally, Grace. Athena's first instinct is to follow the rules whenever things get rough. As if she believes that if the idols don't blindly follow every rule to the letter, we'll dissolve into utter chaos. Well, is she right? Probably. Do you think she's telling the truth? About the idols dying out? I'm not sure. If it is true, why hasn't she told the rest of the chorus? It sounds like she doesn't trust you. Nee, es hat nichts mit zu tun. Is mutual. At any rate, I'm afraid we're going to have to disappoint her again. Uh oh, what now? You need to go back to the reliquary, Grace. You know, Athena said something to me that it'd be nice to know what Calliope was doing there in the first place. And she's correct. It's the only piece of the puzzle we're missing. Calliope went there because she had a plan. But what plan? If she left clues behind, wouldn't Hecate have found them already? That's a really good question. We can't ask Calliope what her plan was. But you might be able to remember what she was doing there. Memories? But I thought... That it will take years, yes. But if you go somewhere important to Calliope, or touch something special to her, you'll get flashes, feelings. Do you want Grace Flashbacks. to go to the reliquary so she can have deja vu? I'm willing to wager the place Calliope met her fate has left its mark in Grace's psyche. We have only to uncover it. Last time Freddy and I were there, Hecate wouldn't let us into the reliquary. Not without Athena's permission. I'm certainly not suggesting we ask Athena for permission. Then you mean... A week ago, I would have said breaking into the reliquary was impossible. Yet it appears Hecate can be surprised. If her book says she will be. Let's hope the book says that again, I guess. Unless you've some other plan. I'm all ears, as they say. What about the alarms? I'm not eager to have a Asterion chasing me through the fog. Calliope snuck in without setting off any alarms. At least at first. Well, I'll be following in Calliope's footsteps, won't I? What if I follow the wrong footstep and set them off? Then they discover you and we apologize profusely. Will not be a good look, though, just saying. Man, mehr als sterben kannst du nicht. Und, naja, sterben würdest du ja in drei Tagen so oder so. You want me to wander around hoping something comes to me? I do know something about how memories work after the transition, but no, I'm not certain. You want certainty? Wait until your trial. Without discovering more, the outcome of that is certain. What if Medusa is lying? What about Pan? We could look into him some more, couldn't we? Oh my my. Ah, you're just full of ideas, aren't you? Do you have any suggestions regarding how we might go about doing that? <sighs> Deja vu it is. Good right then. Back to the reliquary it is. Any idea how you want to do this, Grace? Because I'm game to help. Cool. I'm sure we can figure something out. I can't go in with you. Hecate would sense me right away. I will, however, stay close by. Now that doesn't mean you should take stupid risks. Don't be a fool, Grace. I can take care of myself, in case you hadn't noticed. Come on, the time for adventure is now. Also, ich sag's nur ungern. Oh, not end well. Ich sag's nur ungern, Freddy, aber das werden wir nicht mehr sehen, zumindest nicht mehr heute. Denn es ist kurz vor 17 Uhr und ich spiele gleich meine Pen and Paper Runde und deshalb muss ich das hier leider machen. Aber abgesehen davon, ich, ich 
auch nicht später. Äh, das muss ich dann noch mit Herrn Fluff Fluff besprechen. Vielleicht noch nach Pen and Paper, das, das gleich mit ihm dann. Du hast es mitbekommen, auf jeden Fall, Nuki. Ich bin mir auch nicht sicher, ob du überhaupt Zeit hast dafür, ne? So. Ich werde euch aber äh, zum Herrn Zeilo rüber schicken. Und der spielt Hollow Knight. Ich muss nämlich noch schnell mit dem Hund raus. Äh, hab kaum Zeit für Besprechungen etc. etc. Äh, viel Spaß bei ihm und ja, eventuell ja dann bis äh, später. Ne? Danke. Ja. <lacht> Spaß haben ist jetzt so eine Sache. Wir sind gerade im Pen and Paper in einer Zwickmühlen-ähnlichen Situation. <lacht> das könnte immer ein bisschen. Das könnte noch tragisch werden. Aber wir werden sehen. Also dann, ciao, ciao.